Idaho has it all. Mountains, desert, forests, rivers, lakes, even prairies. So we also see a lot of different types of weather and some of it can be confusing. Like after you fall asleep to a beautiful clear sunset and wake up in a cloud of fog. This week, our four meteorologists will be breaking down some weather phenomena that we see here in Idaho. New this morning, Chief Meteorologist Rick Lance explains what an inversion is. Here in Idaho, we have a beautiful landscape. We have mountains, we have valleys, we have rivers and lakes. Some of these features have a direct effect on the weather we see, and valleys have a major part in setting up inversions. And if the first thing that pops into your head is low air quality, or a fog that just keeps hanging around, these are things that can happen when there's an inversion. But that's not what an inversion is. An inversion is a weather term when an air mass above us gets flipped upside down. And instead of getting colder as you rise in elevation, it stays the same or gets warmer. The cold, dense air settles into lower elevations and a layer of milder air goes over it just like a lid, which doesn't allow the air to mix. There are a couple of ways an inversion can break down. A storm can bring wind down into the valley floors and stir up the air, or colder air can move in and force the air in the valleys to rise. And while inversions can lead to other events like heavy fog, low visibility, and pollution, it doesn't have to. In fact, in time, these can end quickly, and we're back to enjoying blue skies. Now I get it. Thanks, Rick. Sometimes an inversion becomes very stable and sticks around for a long time, which can affect our area in different ways. Tomorrow, our Jim Duthie will take a look at how inversions can impact our air quality.